I find it so like naive to think that even in two or three meetings, right? And we tout ourselves, like we meet with people five times before they're born, that you really know who they are. I find that to be such a lovely flawed thought. Yes, you know better a little bit of who they were compared to when you read their chart, but you still don't really know who people are. Um, and so just having a recognition of that, that you think it's a huge change when this kid is in the NICU and they're acting completely differently, you didn't really know them before. Like you kind of knew what's important in this decision, but you didn't know them. You didn't know how they react when they're angry. You didn't know how they react when they're disappointed. You don't know anything about, I don't know, like the mother-in-law who's in their ear being all crazy. Like you don't actually know that. And so then again, we kind of pretend to know this full comprehensive story. We really don't. Well, and and to add on to that, a parent doesn't know how they're going to be. No. Like even the person themselves has no mm -hmm. awareness of how they will be in this situation because they've never been there before. They've never been so, there before. Like, they don't know how they will be as I'm a couple. The blind. Yeah, nothing, right? Like one parent may cope by being completely just stoic and mute and not engaging. Another parent copes by saying everything. They don't know because they've never done it before. So we actually, we talk about that in our fetal consults that- this environment brings out the best in people. It also brings out the worst in people. It brings out all kinds of fractures in relationships and forms new bonds in relationships. You probably need some couples therapy starting now uh, because all of that stuff is going to come through and it's completely normal to cope differently w with the death of your baby or the life of your baby in the ICU. You will cope differently. You will be a different person in it and it's okay. And it's also okay to stop coming sometimes. Like this becomes this overwhelming, crazy world that you, you know, you're asking us all these questions about like sleep rooms and parking passes. Like, how can I be there all the time? And you do that in the beginning and then you won't because you can't. There are some days you can't. And so we have to, I think, early give people sort of a permission to parent how they need to parent in that moment by stepping away, by taking care of themselves. And sometimes taking care of yourself mean, means not being in the ICU for three days in a row. That's okay. 